Have you ever wondered if what your child is playing is appropriate for their age? Maybe you're at Best Buy or GameStop and they're running up to you with the game and they want to buy it. How do you know it's an appropriate game for them? Well, coming up, I'm going to show you a quick way to find out. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to help simplify your gaming experience. And as a parent of an eight year old, I am going through this exact same thing. My child loves to download game after game. And sometimes we have to find ourselves catching him to make sure that he is actually downloading a game that is appropriate for him. And because I'm also a fellow gamer, you know, most of the time I can quickly spot those and I know typically the difference between them when I see them just by looking at the labels, you know, but sometimes there still are some games that I'm not quite sure about and I want to know just real quick whether it is an appropriate game or whether it isn't one for him. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what video game ratings are and how you can quickly find those out just by looking at the game disc. Thankfully, there is a quick way to find out whether a game rating is appropriate for your child or not, and this is done by the Entertainment Software Ratings Board. The ESRB is a self-regulated nonprofit organization that was founded in 1994 whose sole mission is to help parents just like us make informed decisions when it comes to deciding whether a video game is appropriate for your children in your household. Also as well, I do want to take a quick little moment to point out there is a European system as well called the Pan-European Games Information or PEGI, P-E-G-I, and their sole purpose is basically to do the same thing. Uh, it's just a European version of this. Um, I'm sure there are some slight differences, but for today's video, we're really gonna mainly talk about the US version, which is the ESRB. But if you happen to be watching this from one of our European countries, then you can also check out the PEGI ratings instead. Which now leads us to how do the ESRB ratings even work? So uh, most of us are really familiar with when you go to watch a movie, you are familiar with the ratings there, right? You're familiar with the rated R, or the rated PG-13s, and the rated G movies, right? From Disney and things like that. So game ratings kind of fall on that same line, but they use a little bit of a different scale. Uh, they use the following scales. They have rated E for everyone games, which are going to be very closely related to your rated G movies. They also have an E10+, plus, which I would say is pretty close to your PG movies. Then they have T for teen rated, which is going to be very close to your uh, PG-13 movies. And then lastly, they have rated M for mature, which is going to be your rated R type of movies, right? So if your child comes up to you and wants to purchase a game at Best Buy and they have the disc in hand, all you have to do is quickly look down at the bottom left of that game disc case and you'll be able to see what the rating is right there right away so if they come up and they have a, a game case that shows a rated m at the bottom you know that's a mature rated game now it's completely 100 percent up to you whether you want to still allow your child to have that you know sometimes the game ratings are going to be mature because there may be some violence uh it may be some language in there um and other type of you know maybe inappropriate settings for your particular child and so that's why they have those game ratings there and again it's there to help inform you to make the best decision for you and your family now, while knowing what video game ratings are is a great place to start, but it is not the place to stop when it comes to your child's safety. And because of that, I went ahead and created a free checklist that you can download with the link in the description where I go over the eight steps to creating a safe gaming experience for your child. As well, if you'd like to know the three steps to a safe gaming experience, you can check out the video on the screen that's coming up next. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.